Good morning. So I am going to show how to dissect a tilapia properly and to discuss the external and internal parts of the fish. So a fish is a cold-blooded animal, um, typically with backbone and fins. So it is a primary uh, dependent on water as its habitat. So a fish uh, uses its gills to breathe. So for now, I will show you the video of how to dissect properly and to discuss the different external parts and internal parts of the fish. Watch this. So now, this is the operculum. The operculum covers the gills of the fish. And then we have the fins. Um, fins helps the fish or the buoyancy of fish in water. So this one is the dorsal fins. This one. And then this is the pectoral fin. And then this is the pelvic fin. And then the other one here, this is the anal fin. This is anal fin because of, uh, this is near the anus. So this is the anus of the tilapia. So can you so it was uh, the discussion or he discussed about the different, uh, some of the external parts of the fish, which is namely uh, operculum. So when you say operculum or what you call a gill cover, so it is a bony structure that protects the gills. And then uh, he also discussed uh, the different um, fins of the fish. So these are the parts of the fish which is used in swimming. So there are different types of fins which is uh, used for movements such as um, balancing and turning. So what are these uh, fins? So the dorsal fin, which is lens stability in swimming, the pelvic fin, um, or what we called, um, uh, which is used in um, stability in swimming again and the caudal and or tail fin is a main propelling fin anal fin is also leads stability uh, in swimming and the uh, pectoral fins um, is for locomotion uh, and side side movement of the fish can you see the hole so that is the anus and then the last one we have the caudal fin so this one so okay, now let us proceed with the internal parts of the fish. So now, let us um, cut first the upper glue, okay? So for us to see the gills. So take note, you need to be very, very careful in using our material. So take note our students, Make sure uh, you do this activity under the su supervision of your teacher. Okay, yeah. So this is the gill. Okay, so if you hear that, so if you do dissecting, uh, especially if you are a student, uh, you need to um, uh, ask guidance from your uh, older family member. Okay, kasi mas delikado siya. Okay, if you use um, uh, sharp materials such as uh, um, knife or scissor. So definitely, when we do dissecting, we use dissecting uh, kit. But unfortunately, since we are not in school, you we will be uh, come a resourceful person. So how to become a resourceful, resourceful person kapag nasa bahay tayo? So we need to use... Uh, at least a scissor or a cutter or a knife, but be sure that those uh, materials or those instruments are sharp enough to cut the parts of the fish. So remember again to ask guidance from your older um, family member. Gills of the fish. So take note: the gills help the fish to breathe under water. So let us. Um, use the scalpel, we are going to open the internal parts of the fish. 
So, students, you need to uh, be uh, attentive in doing this activity. Okay. Yeah. So it's. Um, okay. Yeah. So anyway, this is the lateral line. Okay, that one is very sensitive. Okay, so that serves as the sensory. Uh, that is made up of sensory cells. Okay, to elaborate that, that is the lateral line of the fish, which serves as the sensory organ of the fish. So, um, um, normally, this lateral line is very sensitive to pressure, vibration, and the movement of the water. So, this helps them anyway to um, find uh, food or to find their prey. So you need to be very, very careful. Yeah. So be careful. Um, you might cut onto the the internal part. So you need to be. So while doing a uh, uh, dissecting or dissection, so you need to be careful not to cut the internal parts of the fish. Very, very careful. So let us open this part. Ayan. So it's bleeding because it's fresh. Other technique before doing the dissection or dissecting uh, a fish, uh, the technique is to put the fish first, uh, the first fish first to the freezer uh, at least uh, 10 minutes tapos, uh, so that the internal organs uh, freeze and uh, hindi siya masyadong slimy. So ito kasi uh, he uses a very fresh uh, fish and so slime siya. Okay. So this time we are going to use the scissors. Some techniques of doing dissection is uh, they first uh, they use scissor and then they cut uh, vertically from the anus of the fish going to the lateral line and then uh, cut horizontally going to the upper column and then open it uh, parang pababa. Ayun. So this one, he cut all the side of the fish so that the different internal organs will be exposed. So you need to cut this.
always remember that uh, you need to be careful uh, when you use the carp uh, instrument, especially if you use the second set. So, lalong lalo na yung pinatawag ng tawag. Make sure na to cut the internal parts. Okay, so you have to be very, very careful in removing this one. Okay, okay, that's it. Now, so this is the internal parts of the tilapia. Oh, it's uh, this is the internal organ. So let us start with this part. This is the gills. So again, this helps the fish to breathe. Okay, so let's use this. Okay, so the gills is the breathing organ of the fish. Um, this one class, this is the heart. This is the heart of the fish. And this one... Okay, the heart is the organ of the fish that is responsible in um, proper blood circulation and the transport of oxygen and food nutrients um, throughout the body of the fish. Um, it contains green substance which we call bile. This is the gall bladder. And this is the intestine and the stomach of the tilapia. So the stomach of the tilapia and the intestines. So they, uh, these are the primary digestive system or organ of the fish. So um, normally the stomach also known as the gut or which stores food uh, while waiting for the intestine to further digest it and absorb the nutrients. So when you, uh, there is a different types of fishes. We, we have the Pisiburus fishes which have a very short intestines because their food is easy to or easy to digest, while herbivorous fishes require longer intestines for plant fiber that takes longer time to digest. This one is the liver. Okay, so when you say uh, liver, this is the organ responsible for the production of bile, which is also maintains the normal uh, blood chemistry of the fish this part okay and as you can see class our fish is filling because it has um, ovaries so this is the ovaries it contains eggs so this is the eggs of the fish okay so that is the egg of the fish normally the egg or the reproductive organ of the fish is called the gonad so the gonad of the male fish contains um, milk that fertilizes the egg of the female fish. Yeah, okay, I'm going to put it here. So that's the eggs inside our ovary. Okay, the tiny uh, part or particles. Okay. So, I hope you learn. So now, this is the upper filling. The upper 